Hello, my name is Lisa Hocking. I'm the Associate Director for Infection Prevention and Control. We currently have several patients in the hospital who are being treated for COVID-19 and we know that the case rate in Swindon is rapidly growing as more people are contracting the virus. At the Great Western Hospital, we know how important it is for loved ones spending time in hospital to see their family and friends. A stay in hospital can be incredibly lonely and we know that visits from home can boost morale and support a patient's recovery. We do have a responsibility though to keep everybody who is coming through our doors safe. This is particularly important whilst the virus is being transmitted so quickly across the region. Our patients, their families and our staff are our priority and we have done everything we can to make the hospital as safe as possible. This includes strict hand hygiene, regular deep cleaning, social distancing and the wearing of face masks in all areas. We have designated COVID-19 wards that are reserved for patients who are being treated with COVID-19, but sometimes a patient might test positive in another area of the hospital. These patients are always isolated immediately and moved to one of our COVID-19 wards. And then we isolate and test any patients who might have been sharing a bay with the positive patient. I want to remind local people who are visiting loved ones at the hospital, although we have extensive measures in place to keep you safe, we can never completely reduce the risk. We have seen some people come in on site who to visit patients who are clinically vulnerable or high risk themselves. And I want to encourage these people to consider their own health first. For those who are high risk of catching COVID-19, this could cause you to become very unwell and possibly need hospital treatment yourself. Whilst the case rate in Swindon is still high, we would ask that only people come to visit if they are low risk themselves. We have a number of iPads available for virtual visiting. And whilst I appreciate this is not the same as visiting in person, our staff are always happy to support video calls between their, pa their patients, family and friends. Unfortunately, for patients staying in wards where a patient tests positive unexpectedly, we will need to postpone all visits until we can be sure that all patients who might contract the virus have been isolated and a number of deep cleans have been carried out. Therefore, it is really important that you call ahead of visiting, as we do now, and ask everyone to book a visit in advance. Please don't turn up as you were once able to do. Please contact the ward. We would like you to visit an agreed time and with the nurse ward manager in charge. You must wear a face mask when visiting. Please use the hand gel provided and ensure you are socially distanced at all times from those around you. Over Christmas period, patients are able to have religious or pastoral visits, such as a chaplain, alongside their family or friend who is also visiting. Thank you for your support and flexibility you have shown this year. I know it has been a difficult time for so many, not at least those spending time in hospital and the loved ones waiting for them at home. But we must do our bit in keeping ourselves and each other safe.